A quarter century before, Mary had come to Washington, a young matron with stars in her eyes, ready to take the town by storm. Yet reality checked her ambitions. She had to pack up and head back to Springfield with no sense of accomplishment. When she returned as First Lady in 1861, events overtook her husband's presidency, superseding her own campaigns. With Lincoln's death, she was once again forced to slink out of town. She fought many battles in her day, but none seemed so long and convoluted as the one with Congress. Like some vengeful Roman matron, she demanded tribute alongside proclamations of virtue and patriotism. She kept track of every penny she had earned from Congress and even felt obliged to protect the government from an unworthy candidate staking a claim. When John Taylor's widow, Julia, sought a pension in 1880, Mary was outraged that one who had been so bitter against our cause during the Civil War would dare seek government aid. Mary Lincoln could not waste one drop of mercy for Julia Tyler's impudent request, a plea which ironically seems to echo many of Mary's from years before. 